Senator, we are here at a committee to look at a, a virus now that has killed almost 900,000 people. And the purpose of the committee was to try and get things out, how we can help to get the American public. And you keep coming back to personal attacks on me that have absolutely no relevance to reality. Do you think anybody has had more influence let, over let our me response finish. to this than you have? Do you Madam think it's a great Chair, success? I, do you think it's a great success what's happened right. so far? Do you think you, the lockdowns are said, good for our kids? Do you think we slowed down the death rate? More people have died now under President Biden than did under President Trump. You are the one responsible. You are the architect. You are the lead architect for the response from the right. government. And now 800,000 people have died. Right. So you think it's a, a winning success what you've advocated for government? Everything that I've said has been in support of the CDC guidelines. Wear a mask, get boosted. And you've advocated to make it coercive take, and take done a look at force, everything and you've advocated that it to be done by mandate. Right. You've, you've advocated that your infallible opinion be dictated by law. The last time we had a committee of the time before, he was accusing me of being responsible for the death of five, four to five million people, which is really irresponsible. And I say, why is he doing that? There are two reasons why that's really bad. The first is it distracts from what we're all trying to do here today is get our arms around the epidemic and the pandemic that we're dealing with, not something imaginary. Number two, what happens when he gets out and accuses me of things that are completely untrue is that all of a sudden that kindles the crazies out there and I have life that threats upon my life, harassment of my family, and my children with obscene phone calls because people are lying about me. Now, you know, I guess you could say, well, that's the way it goes, I can take the hit. Well, it, it, it makes a difference because as some of you may know, just about three or four weeks ago on December 21st, a person was arrested who was on their way from Sacramento to Washington DC at a speed stop in Iowa. And they asked, the police asked him where he was going, and he was going to Washington, D.C. to kill Dr. Fauci. And they found in his car an AR-15 and multiple magazines of ammunition because he thinks that maybe I'm killing people. So I ask myself, wh why would Senator want to do this? So go to Rand Paul website, and you see Fire Dr. Fauci with a little box that says, contribute here. You can do $5, $10, $20, $100. So you are making a catastrophic epidemic for your political gain.